Hello everybody and welcome to Factory Town, the game that I had to restart to start recording the video because the music in the menu cut out as I was going through the option settings. I had to make sure my frame weight, frame weight, frame rate was right, everything was set correctly. This game actually has a significantly deep uh, video menu for an early access game, which I'm a huge fan of as somebody who kind of really is into like good options and things. Uh, but before I jump into that, uh, I just wanted to inform you guys of the game. This is Factory Town. It is a game by Eric Asmussen, um, and it is a game about... It's a strategy game, but it's like a town city builder game. It's a weird game. Uh, you can't actually see my cursor? That might be an issue. We'll find out in the game. We'll find out if we need to turn the cursor on. If I need to turn the cursor on, I'll turn the damn cursor on. Uh, this is an early access game. It is currently $17.99 on Steam. And I believe once the uh, early window of the game being, you know, on new release, it came out too damn recording it the day it came out because I'm not some YouTube pleb who, you know, begs for free games from developers. I actually purchased it with my own money uh, to support the dev in that way. So... It came out today, it is $17.99 right now, but it will be $20, $19.99 on Steam after that release window, and then the devs have talked about it going up in price once the early access uh, f is final, and it launches into its 1.0, which we're at .087, we're probably a ways away. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into the game so we get music back, I hope. There is not music, I'm a little distraught, but you know what, it's all good. Uh, I don't know what any of this means. Oh, there's music. This is the first time I've opened the game. I bought it, installed it, and then launched it, looked at the options menu, which I'm actually going to go back and show you guys real quick. Because it's a good, it's a good uh, idea if you're doing a coverage of a game like this to kind of give you guys a brief explanation of what is currently in the game. It's an early access game, so what's in the game? Uh, there, I believe there's a roadmap up, but if there's not a roadmap, they... they will most likely have an FAQ where you can get your answers uh, for the questions you might have on the game that I can't personally answer myself. So you can change the interface. The languages currently are French, German, Spanish, Russian, European, Portuguese, and simplified Chinese, as well as the standard English. For me, you can pay up to 300% on your UI scaling, which is huge for people who have like maybe vision issues. Uh, you might have an issue with smaller text, a smaller monitor. You know, there's all kinds of reasons you might want to uh, bump up the uh, UI scaling, which is something that all games should have. Uh, I stream a lot on Twitch. If you're not following me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash penhybrid. But uh, I, I stream a lot on Twitch, and I have some people in my audience who have vision disorders. And so whenever I play a game on stream, I try to bump up the UI scaling if I can to help them out. So good on you, Eric, for allowing you to go up to 300%. That's probably massive. It's going to be whole, the entire screen. Context commands, text tips, alert bubbles, house alerts. Uh, default build multiple, auto save interval, screen edge scrolling. Seems pretty good. Controls, are there rebindings? There are rebindings. I'm a big fan of rebinding keys. We'll figure out what those controls actually are when we get into the game. As far as video settings, your two options are windowed and full screen window. Notice how there is no full screen option. I like that because I don't like full screen. Because of the dual monitor setup that I run currently, one of my monitors is 144 hertz, one of them is 60 hertz. If I try to run a full screen app on my 144, it can screw up the resolution on my right monitor. It's, it's a weird conflict of hardware. I hate it. Full screen window is perfect. It allows me to click out of the game without anything happening. It's really good, and then windowed for just people who like to play in Windows, maybe your PC uh, can't run full screen window, for instance. Uh, everything, I was really hoping it had a 144, it does, it has 144 for all of your standard res uh, resolutions, up to 1920 by 1080, that's the highest resolution it goes, but you also have 60, 59, uh, if you're running at a 30 FPS, you can go down to a 50 hertz if you need to, 84, 99, 119, and 144, all of those Neat little in-betweens. If you want to run at 120 frames, you can totally run it at 120 frames and be perfectly fine. It even has an option up to 300 FPS. Uh, you can go unlimited if, you, if you're if you not worried about frame drops or frame uh, stuttering, if you will. 
I'm currently playing it at 144. I'm sitting very comfortably at 146. Solid. Nothing is changing. It's really good. Uh, shadows. Let's turn those things on ultra. Draw distance. Absolutely. Turn that on. Turn that on. And we're not going to turn V-Sync on. V-Sync screws, uh, screws my eyes up. So let's just jump into a game. It's enough about the, the basics of Factory Town. What is Factory Town? I'm sure you're wondering. I've watched this game be streamed by a buddy of mine uh, who's nobody you actually know probably it's not a member of the unusual crew I know everybody's everybody's jumping on factory town because it's the new hotness out of the early access but no one of my buddies who was playing this game and he's a big Civ player so he took an interest in this because it is kind of a city building management style core of a game like a grid based city builder however there's advanced uh, tools and automation inside of it kind of like in a factorio um and so it brings into this whole like mixture of sim city factorio and city skylines with a little bit of civ economics which is really cool uh as well so i'm gonna go with default scenario i don't know what this means plains and rivers mountain lakes plateaus i'm sure if i click on them it'll actually show what they are and i can zoom out to see what the standard map would look like uh, plateaus looks atrocious. Wow, that looks bad. Not like graphically, it just that's not a place that I want to build a city on. Mountain Lakes also looks horrible, but that's like a this is like a high difficulty area. I don't know. Archipelago looks really cool. If I could build some like nasty gnarly bridges, can I move the menu? I cannot move the menu. Uh, volcanic, <laughs> volcanic, volcanic islands. I can see one singular volcano. Which I want to build things into. Flat. Flat's just boring. Empty. Oh no. Empty? What are you talking about? Empty? There's a shoreline over there. I can build a fishing town. Craters. Another one that looks like it would be just a higher difficulty area. But look, imagine the coolness of starting your village like right... You can't see my cursor. One second. You can't see my cursor. Properties, capture cursor, click it, the cursor is being captured. Okay, so like imagine, I knew it was going to be a problem. Imagine if you started a city like right here in this little sector right now, and then you like, there was like super cool resources over on this little, this little winglet here. And you had to like either go down through this valley of death or like build around harvesting this whole peninsula, if you will, as it were. It's not really a peninsula because it's not, uh outlitted by water but desert cliffs I can notice that this is not a desert foothill canyons dude okay this map looks dope as shit oh this map looks so good because you can build like a little like a city here and then do like little like a uh, little like an outlet like uh, outposts on top of these little boob shaped mountains my god the Grand Canyon Uh, Illuminati confirmed. High foothills. Just another boring kind of style map. I wonder if it's like... Yeah, it's it's procedurally generated, definitely. So, do I get a... Ooh. That's actually way cooler. That's a way cooler! Alright. I like the idea of an island. Can we get some weird looking islands? Yo, let's talk about some weird looking islands. We got little... We got... Like Ballsackville over here. We got Melted Gumby Island up on top, and then we got the Pit of Doom. Lakeland. Actually, kind of like Lakeland. And Swamp Forest as well. Looking all kinds of cool. I don't know if they actually changed the terrain, though, if it's all just going to be grass. I got no idea. I really, really, really like uh, Foothill Canyons, though, quite a bit. Can we get a good Foothill Canyon here? This is so cool. And build like right in here. Or like right in there. Yeah, this is what we're doing. You can edit the map. Wait a second. What? Foothill Canyons. Bypass? Oh. Never mind. What's a mask? I don't know what any of this is. Add multiply mint. Add new funk. No, get out of here. Rivers. Bypass. No rivers. No, I want a river. 
What is this? Knee angle? You can make your own maps. Alright, let's go back to the whatever it was at default. Zero. Yeah, zero. Good job. It's the knee. The hell's a knee? Other than the knights who say knee. Yo, okay, we're not gonna do any of that stuff, but. Uh, get out of here. Uh, stack? No! What did I do? Oh, I made him so big. Okay, we go back. I've ruined everything. Edit map. Wood Hill Canyons. Mask. Stack. No! Okay, back. Back. I've ruined everything. How do I do this? Wood Hill Canyons. How do you remove this? How do you how do you get rid of the stack? Bypass. No stack. How do you get rid of it? I've ruined everything. I've I've broken the map and I have no idea how. Have I broken everything? I think I broke everything. Okay, click. Stack. But how do I get rid of it? Blend. None. Bypass. I don't know what I did. We're gonna choose a different map. Uh. Uh, sure, craters. Seems good. Available biomes. Sure, map size. Infinite. Let's do it. Creative mode, off. Auto plays base, off, because I want to start my own base. Smooth starting area? No, it's... Well... That actually does almost nothing. That actually makes the word it worse. The default, yeah. Create! We've, we've It's been 12 minutes and I haven't done anything. Welcome to Factory Town. At the start of each map, you only have a few workers, but as you build houses, upgrade your base, and complete research, you'll soon have a fully automated network of conveyor belts and rail lines that unlock advanced magic-powered technology and achieve extreme optimization. Often you will want to tell a worker to deliver a specific item to a specific building to do this. Click and drag them from the item source to the target or building block. Shoots are handy ways to transport goods. Natural resources will roll down shoots. You also need to... Rotate, shoot pieces to ensure roll items travel in the correct direction. Conveyor belt. Get, get out of the launch tips. Clearing shoots. If you have any items stuck in a shoot that you don't want, you can clear them up by using the move tool. Uh, items will be refunded to your shared inventory. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, what is all of this? We need to build a base. First, you need to place your base. Choose a large flat area next to tree, stone, and grain. Open the build menu. And build a base. I mean, clearly, this is like the this is the like target area. But you got you got iron ore, you got stone, coal, wood, some herbs, a weird pear tree. Yo, okay, the camera moves so fast. The camera actually moves so fast. The pear tree. A partridge in a pear tree. What is this? What is this? Mana shards. Cotton. Potatoes. Oh, we could boil them, we can mash them, and we can stick them in stews. Look at single grain down there. What is these? Tomatoes? Earth? Stone? More pear trees and gold ore? Yee. This single firestone right there. And a bunch of a bunch of herbs. Well, I mean, there's a lot of good area here. Look at all the mana shards over there, man. <laughs> Get it, mana? <laughs> I'm sorry. Are those fish? Those are fish. Look at all the fish. This is like the area we have to build. Okay, so we go B, buildings, base. How do you rotate? R. It tells you how to ro Oh, I right clicked. That was a bad decision. B, building base. What if I wanted to, like, overlook this 
No, it doesn't let me rotate the camera when I'm trying to build a base. Right there, right on the freaking cliff. Right on the freaking cliff. Yes, this is the best place. He almost died, it's okay. Okay, we did a base. Gather wood, worker. Worker, please. Worker, please chop the tree. Worker, please chop the tree. And then, wait, what? Wait, you have to right click on the tree. Why oh, you gotta right click on the tree? You get coal. You get grain. And you get herbs. Actually, you know what, sir? You get trees as well. There's a carrot. Yo. Iron plate. Omni stone. It's Godhead. Produced by a mana reactor. Yo, we can make so many things. Click middle click to rotate camera. Oh. So middle click is also to rotate the camera. Right click is also rotate camera. I don't like that. Houses increase your population limit, allowing you to create more workers. Build a house. It's very helpful to place your first houses in your sources of food like grain. I'm going to build a hoose. I'm going to build a hoose. We're going to build this house. i got to plan this village. I feel like... I feel very strongly that the village needs to start, like, here. And then we might need to just destroy some stuff. Why do I have 51 coins? Do you start with 51 coins? And we'll build a boy... Right here. And then we'll build a good sir... Right here. And then a good sir... Man, there's, like, not a whole lot of... Oh, it's because it's so, like, burmy. That's the difference, is it's so burmy. Okay. Build workers. You can build a worker. All right, workers. Ten to build a worker. Okay, so you... You go there, you go there. We're gonna also build a worker here. And a worker there. And a worker there. And we don't have any more money. Okay. You no, you gather this and bring it there. You gather... Excuse me, sir. You gather grain and bring it there. You gather herbs and bring it there. You gather grain and bring it there. And you gather grain and you bring it there. So what we're doing is we're bringing grain to the houses because it increases our happiness and earns us money. We're going to build a path. Build a path along your worker's routes. Okay, so we definitely need a path there. We'll need a path up through here. It takes so much wood. I need... Okay, there we go. That's fine. All right, a little, a little path right there. Look at this village. Look how handsome our village is. We built a path. Okay, please, please get rid of this. Cancel Z. Get out of here. Okay. Lumber mills and wood, or turn wood into planks, which you will need to buy, need for many buildings and upgrades. Gather five stone, open the build menu, and build a lumber mill. Production buildings require spare population capacity. If you already have reached the number of population, build more houses or delete workers. Yo, listen here. We're not deleting any workers, all right? I'm a, I'm going to upgrade this base. As soon we need planks. Shit. Build a lumber mill. Five. Is this a lumber mill? We need two planks to build the lumber mill. Wait, what? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Okay. Left click to place a building. Hold on. B. Buildings. Lumber mill. 
It doesn't require that. So why is it telling me I need... Because it's on un... It's on uneven ground. I understand. I'm learning the unfortunate part of this starting facility. We need five stone? Where's our stone going? Wasn't there a guy collecting stone? There is no guy collecting stone. <laughs> the guy collecting coal. Do we have coal? How do we... How do I check what's in my thing? Uh, Economy? Research? Blocks? Build? Is it just shared inventory? How much coal do I have? We got 56 coal! Yo, you've done a good job, my friend, but we need stone. Dude, our workers are so happy. We have 188 yellow coins. Uh, It's a sandwich. Gears, clothes, magical robes. I can build a crown. What the f What's depleted air? And why is the earth stone purple? And why do I like it so much? Yo, you see how far far down pears are? We need to get that pear tree. All right, we need a we need a grain guy. Yo, grain guy, get the pear tree. That is your goal. You are pear man. All right, we have five five dudes. Build a lumber mill. Oh, it's gonna be so pricey. Okay, where can we? Oh, right here. It's gonna be it's gonna be some risky business, but it's right goddamn next to this wood. Unless I can build it here, it's gonna it's not gonna be able to go there. But what if I? Yeah, I think I think this is like prime time. We've unlocked a shoot, scaffold ramp, scaffold blocks, wood arch, wood bridge, scaffold, and a bench. Dude, I love benches. All right, new recipe: planks. We can make paper out of water and wood. It takes three seconds to make a plank, and it takes two wood to make a plank. So what do I... Available recipes that just, like... What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Does it mean just, like... Am I just going to be making planks? Hold on. Input, output. I want to make planks. I want to assign... Wait, hold on. I want to assign... Another worker. Thank you. I want to assign you to make planks. And I want to assign... Where's Pearman? Is Pearman still making pears? Where's Pearman? Why is Pearman not making pears? Worker overview. Where's Pearman? Deposit the pear. What are you doing? Drop, drop pair to base. Bring the pair to the, to the, the people. This man can't do anything with the pair. Forget the pair. Good sir. You will make planks. You will make planks, and you will bring the planks to the base. You will make planks, and you will bring them to the base. We don't have any wood in this. Wood guy. Bring wood here. Oh my god. Wood guy, bring wood here. The herb man's doing nothing till we have nowhere to put the herbs. Put the herbs in the freaking lumber mill. Don't put the herbs in the live what put the herb <laughs> okay, listen. Put the put the herb in the house. He can't put the herb in the house. Okay, you, sir, need to chop a tree and put the tree in the lumber mill. <laughs> Please God chop the tree. Move the trees in the Oh my god. You, you must abandon the herb, my friend. P 
please abandon the herb. How do you abandon the herb? Please chop green. He can't do anything. Remove incompatible target. How do I sell this man? Issue command. Delete. Remove this, sir. Build a new, sir. Sir, my boy, please gather some wood and put it in the lumber mill. <laughs> Can we name the workers? Hold on. Can we name the workers? Issue command. Oh, worker overview. Hold on. Get rid of this. Z. Can I name my workers? You. All right. First, oh, we can update our base. Okay, hold on. Bring enough wood to your lumber mill to craft a plank. Drag, left click to select a worker, right click on a tree to drag the cursor with your lumber mill. Bring two wood to the lumber mill to create a plank. Uh, population, we can upgrade a house, hit the upgrade button. So we're going to upgrade the first house, obviously. Upgrade it. Five planks, done. We're going to upgrade this house, too. Upgrade it. You know what? Let's upgrade this house, too. Let's upgrade all of our houses. Level 12 houses. Upgrade actions consume items from the player's shared inventory items stored with the base and barns. And you can upgrade your base. If you don't have enough happiness, you cannot upgrade your base. Okay, we need 10 more planks, and we need 4 happiness. Do we not have 4 happiness? Yo. Grain man, bring the grain there. How much grain do we have? Probably like 12 million. That's all I've been doing is just putting grain in the houses. We don't even have grain in, like, you're going to officially just bring grain to, like, the base. And honestly, you can just, like, bring grain to the base. We cannot bring grain to the base. Max of houses increased. Shared inventory. Okay, so now we're starting to gain grain. I don't know why. Can the base only hold a certain amount of stuff in it? Maybe that's what's the, maybe that's the deal. The dealio. The did lad diddly dealio. Uh, yeah, we upgraded the base. See, these little quests we got. Build a food market. B. Food market. Hold on. Structural blocks. Yo, look at all this stuff. Paths. Oh my god, we got a shoot. We got decor. We can build a, we, can, we gotta build a bench. Alright, we gotta build a bench. Screw the tutorial. This is... Benchtown. Benchtown, USA. Look. You've never... Oh my god. The camera moves so fast. Hold on. I need to bring this terrain down. How do I... How do I terrain? Uh... Tools? Ooh, terrain... Block down. How do I move this block down? Move, move, move this block down, please. Do I right-click it? Yeah, block down. I can't block it down. Hold on. B. Tools. Terrain flatten down. It ain't working. It refuses to actually work. I have plenty of money. It just won't let me do it. That bench looks terrible. Please get rid of that bench. Thank you. I love the idea that we have a bench, but that bench is clearly not built for that area. We need another... We need to figure out... I love our little hilly section here. I kind of want to go get these berries. There's 93 berries. I didn't even realize they have an they have an actual uh dude that pear tree has 228 pears on it. That's a big tree. I'm not gonna lie, that's a huge freaking tree. What the hell's the point of herbs? What can I do with herbs? Alright, let's figure out this market thing. And then nearby houses will automatically buy from them. It's much more efficient and Dude, okay, this is actually what we need. Build farmer's food market. Put the food market, yeah, put it right in the middle of town. Absolutely. Put it like, yeah, right, right in front of the bench. It's the best. You can sit in front of the food market. All right, anybody who's doing food. Grain? Grainman? No, 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 Grainman. 
you are now bringing grain to the food market. You are now bringing grain to the food market. And you are now bringing grain to the food market. How much wood do I have in the lumber mill? Can I stop making planks? I should. I probably shouldn't stop making planks. But we do need wood man. Actually, no, we're still putting wood, a decent amount of wood, into the base as well as in this. How do I check economy? No, how do I actually check what's in our lumber mill? Input, output. So we're outputting... We have... We have a total of... We're making... Okay, so we have we have seven in there. That's not that bad. I kind of want this iron ore. Is that actually how much each one is worth? Because if it's worth 511 per, that's significant. That's a lot of freaking iron. There's 409 fish in that? Yeah. My gosh. Like, the grain isn't even worth that much. That's the nice thing about the grain, is the grain will actually deplete. We might, we might just wait, wait until this grain... Actually, that's actually the, that's like the best plan here. Okay, you boy, you can grain here. Oh, you can actually see this. You can actually see it now. They're actually uh, automatically pulling food from here. It's taking grain from the food market and just automatically give, divvying it up to the houses. That's so good. This house is not getting any food, though. Oh, it is. Okay. I was going to say, they're dying. They're, they're dying. Grain mills turn grain into flour, which can be sold for a higher price as an ingredient in other goods. Let's build a grain mill. 30 bunnies, 10 stone, and 10 planks. Yeah, it's the easiest shit in the world. Let's put the grain mill right here. If, maybe here is actually a better choice. Yeah, right there is so good. Right next to the grain. My god, I'm I'm too good at this game, man. While everybody just laughs at me because this weird ass scaffolding that's there. Look, don't make fun of my scaffolding. Let's make some flour, three flour per one grain, and let's take uh, grain boys. We have we have three we have four grain boys, right? Yeah, we have four grain boys going to the market. So you, my good sir, bring the grain. Actually, better idea. Yeah, go over here. But before you travel this massive distance, just grain this grain. You can grain from here. Oh, no, 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 no. You can grain from here to here. You can grain from here to here. And you can grain from here to here. So you have one guy bringing grain to the food market, one guy turning grain into flour. Because it's three for one flowers so we actually need to have three guys on that so we're gonna build more people so we're gonna build four more people six more people I know I've turned that number around real quick so we got grain man here grain man here and grain man here so now we should be able to be pumping out two flour per and we're gonna also have two more woodmen or one more woodman and one more stone man we actually don't need a whole ton of stone I might be interested in getting the coal here, but what's the herb? For science, can you herb, please, to the base? Can he herb to the base? Is there a possibility for you to herb to the base? He can totally herb to the base. Okay, so we're... We're so good. Okay, so that's a path there. That's a path there. That's a path there. That's a path there. Uh, this guy's actually just, like, running around all kinds of places. So we're going to build that there. We're going to build that there. I'm gonna put a house here. I like the idea of having maybe two houses here. You can't put two houses there. So we're gonna get rid of this house. Remove this house, get out of here. You cannot remove the house. Uh, how do you sell a house? Delete. Get out of here, house. You're a terrible show anyway. Ooh, I see the problem now. It's a nine and a nine. So we need to get rid of this tree. These two trees need to go. So, two sirs that are bringing trees back to base. Please bring these trees back to base instead. Yo, I'm so into this right now. I can produce flour and sell it at a market for a lot of coins. Select the grain mill, select the flour. I already did that. 
Oh, we have to bring flour to the food market. It's so full. Okay. Uh, we need a new. We need a boy. We need. We need a hero. Bring flour to the food market, for the love of God. <laughs> They're just hanging out outside of there with the grain in their hand. Please, sir! <laughs> it's heavy! Uh, wood wheels, conveyor belts, and many other useful and valuable items. We need to build a workshop. Okay, so we're building a workshop. There's too many things. Okay, build a workshop. Workshop's gonna go over here. I think this is the best place for a workshop. It's like right next to this situation here. Can it be over here without being uh, intrinsic? It can't. Okay. Fence, half stairs, and a wagon. Oh my god, wagon das. It's the world's greatest ice cream. Barns are shared storage. Are we, it's too, there's too much. Slow it down. A barn. Okay, so barns increase our inventory. Gotcha. Okay, so barn can go here. No, actually, barn can go here. Yeah, that's that's the best place for the barn. So this is the place where we storage stuff. So, what's the point of special shared storage structures? Any item you place there is usable when placing a new building or pur purchasing an upgrade. Also, it's just literally storage. So that must mean that the base, it's limited to eight items. So every upgrade, it's limited. Okay, I gotcha. And then this, this, this is refined storage. Okay, I gotcha. Wagons can move four items at a time, but they cannot harvest. They move faster on stone roads. Produce four wheels at your workshop. So let's make four wood wheels. We need two planks. So we're going to build Plank Boy. Oh, we need a Plankman. We need... Oh, God. The grain... The, we cannot keep up with the grain. We need an extra grain, man. Okay, you bring this to the food market. You bring this to the food market. And you bring... Planks... To the workshop these are the goals and then every time we consume a flower to the house we gain five money bucks versus the standard less than five money bucks super happy i cannot wait for these trees to go away they're so nearly gone and then i can build an another house so we're gonna build one of those houses at least just so we can get this uh this town rocking in the business uh, and I'm going to make this house the happiest house. Get that house upgrade. It's already happy because of our market. We are the most marketed town in the world. You cannot stop me. How many wheels I got? We're putting... We got one wheel. We need four wheels. Bring the wood wheels to your base or a barn. So they're in your shared inventory. Right now I'm just going to focus on making the wheels. Uh, and then... Honestly, Woodman, we have so much wood. Please bring some planks over here, and then we'll turn you into our... into our transfer for the... the wheels. So we can actually make him... right now, actually. Where is he? Where is this man? There he is. Okay, so you actually can take the wheels to our barn. I may have just put a, a log in this barn. Can I get rid of this? Trash it. I don't care about that plank. That plank is dead to me. No one needs that plank. We need wheels, sir. I wish I could name my... I need to name my warriors. Please, Eric, if you are watching this video, or any viewers, please shout at him on Twitter. In the next update, the next major patch, let me name my children. Please let me name my villagers. I love giving... I don't want worker. Worker A through worker Z. I want Francis, the Ironman. And I want Douglas, the Plankman. Oh my god. And the Herb. Herb the Herb Gatherer. You see how good he is at herbs? He has 50 herbs by himself. Herb is a freaking... He, he's gonna be a dentist someday. With the amount of work he's putting in. We have too many wheels now. We have five wheels. Oh my god. Build a wagon. 
That's a... Oh, it is a worker. It costs 40 bucks. Wagon. Okay, we have built the wagon. What do I do with the wagon? I don't want to know how to use a chute. Listen, I know how to use chutes. Don't tell me how to use chutes. Please tell me how to use the wagon. Wait, why? How do I... Okay, for starters, grainman. Put the grain in the wagon. You can't put the grain in the wagon. Why can you not put grain in the wagon? You can't put grain in the wagon. Okay, so put grain in the freaking grain mill. And this guy can just, like... It's literally... I understand it can't harvest. But it can carry so much. I'm sadly not making enough grain, though. How much grain do I have? Shared inventory. How much grain do I got? 105 grain versus how much... Flour? Wheat? What is it called? Flour? Grain? What's it called? Flour. How much flour do I got? I got no idea. So, yeah, honestly, pump this baby with grain. We got a wagon, man. I have not paused it a single time, which I guess just goes to show that this game is much more relaxing to play than it is with other major games similar to this style. Well, we've been recording for 42 minutes. My god, this game is incredibly entrancing so thank you i guess i should wrap it up we got 850 coins wow i have not paid a single bit of attention to our upper uh we need shoots i have no reason for a shoot here what do i need a shoot for i have zero reason for a shoot also we have nowhere to put planks so before we do anything actually I'm just going to build another wagon. <sighs> I can't build a wagon because I have too many people working on this. We're going to put a 150 on there. And then we're going to build a wagon. Excuse me. Can I build a wagon? Thank you. Wagon. Build a wagon. And this wagon is solely going to put planks in our barn. Why is lumber in our barn? Why do we have lumber in our barn? Instead of... Oh, it's because it's... It's, we have too much wood. We actually have too much wood. Why is there grain? Why is there grain in the barn? Put the grain, get rid of the grain. People can yell at me. Penta, why are you, why are you getting rid of this stuff? Move the planks into the barn. It can move four at a time. I need to build this other house real quick. I know, Penta, you said the video was gonna be over very recently. I cannot until that house, or that tree. That tree needs to go. We're going try hard on this tree. Get rid of this tree, sir. We will wait until this tree is dead. We're going to be here with, we're going to be here down here in the, in the thick of it with Denny. He's not even hitting the right tree. He's attacking the wrong, you're attacking, Denny, you're attacking the wrong tree, sir. Oh my god, Wilson has the right idea. Please let me name my warriors. My children need to be named. Okay, five on this tree. 
no, no, you don't understand. You need that tree is the one you need to get rid of. We need that tree gone. We have, it doesn't even calculate how much money we have. One point okay. Okay. And then as soon as this is gone, like we're gonna be on top of it here. Oh, <gasps> it's because my person's in the way. Hold on. Do we gotta yeet him out of the way? There it is. He's been yeeted. Upgrade this house. Make him happy. Food market. Oh, the happiest people. And we need five stone bricks. We need a stone mason. You make a stone mason. Yeah. Road. Stone roads. Stone wall. Road ramps. Stone bridge. And a stone bench. Let's make some stone bricks. We actually don't have a lot of wood. So let's do one real quick thing. Uh, we might have too much grain. We're actually making a staggering amount of money. Uh, so, like you would expect from a man who's making a staggering amount of money, I'm going to build more houses. Like a careless... Careless sir. These houses have been built. We're going to upgrade them immediately. They're the happiest houses. We now have so many people. We can have 36 boys. Be happy, please. For the love of God. Thank you. Be happy! Sir! <laughs> you need to smile. Thank you. Okay, stone mason. Please make stone bricks. Uh, we're gonna build a wagon. It's gotta... The video's gotta end. My dude, it's gotta end. Okay, so we're gonna bring... Stone from here. Deliver coal. No. Deliver stone from base to mason. And then on top of that, we're going to build Huey, Dewey, and Louie, who are going to be our new stone sirs. And they're going to strictly bring stone to the base, because then Wagon Man can just carry this shit over here. Over here. To make polished stone. And then, on top of that, we're gonna have... Oh, we have no grain. Oh, sh we're, in, we're in the deep. We're in the deep trouble. We ain't got grain. Do we have enough grain to last? Hold on. How much grain do we got? Where's our shared inventory? Yo, we got so much grain. Okay, so you can actually... Do... You can bring polished stone from here to the barn. You can do the same. Uh, this is this video's got to end. Hold on, it's it's got to end, but at the same time, we have to make the decision here on this whole food situation. How do I get these fish? The f it's too steep. We need the pears. That's what we need to do. We need pears. I know they're talking about shoots. Pear tree, food market. Pear tree, food market. Coal, base. Stone, base. Wood, base. We're so, we're, we're so dead. And this guy's out of work to do. Coal base. Wagon? This guy doesn't have... What are you doing? Put the wheel in the barn. Why can't you put the wheel in the barn? Please put the wheel in the barn. Deposit the wheel. And then... Pear tree. Food market. And you... Shit. We're almost out of wood storage. We need another barn. You. Wagon. We're in poor luck. Take the grain to the grain mill. 
and then we don't need several pair of people. You take grain to the food market. And that's where I gotta end it. We've been live for 50 minutes. And by live, I mean we've been playing for 50 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, you know what to do. Like the video, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there is a high chance that I might end up playing this again in the near future. If this is something you'd like to see me continue playing on the channel on YouTube, let me know. Or if this is something you'd much rather see me play on a live stream, uh, which we can always do on a live stream, and just let me know we can do that. And you can come hang out live while we play it there, and I can upload the videos to YouTube. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear your thoughts and feelings on Factory Town. This game made 50 minutes disappear so quickly. Eric, you've done a great job. The only striking criticism I have is I don't like the middle mouse button. I might have to rebind that. And the fact that I can't name my children. Please let me name my minions. I want to name them. I want to give them all their own backgrounds and stories. I love my bench. I'm a big fan of the bench. And, uh, before we end, we're going to upgrade our base real quick. Beep. Max increase House of Fours. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.